So controversial artwork in Auckland, which resembles the State House, will be unveiled to the public for the first time this weekend. Michael Parakofai, the lighthouse, is being opened to the public tomorrow night. Our reporter Tom Furley was taken on a tour of the two-storey sculpture and filed this report. The two-storey weatherboard house sits on prime real estate on Queen's Wharf, commanding brilliant views of the Waitemata Harbour. However, other than the seagulls atop its roof, this house shall remain uninhabited. Funded by Barfoot and Thompson and other anonymous donors, it's a $1.5 million addition to the Auckland Council's art collection. Today, black card remains over the windows and a fence is yet to come down ahead of tomorrow's public opening. The Council's Manager of Arts and Culture, Kay Glamazina, took me for a tour of the finished piece. As a sculpture it's very much about looking through the work, so it's not like a painting where you look at a painting and you have the same experience. This house has been designed very much to look through, so when you look at what's inside you'll see that you're peering through and you'll see people looking on the other side probably, but if you're looking from the south side you'll also see the Wadamata. The inside will remain closed to the public, but I was able to get a sneak peek of the space beyond its red front door. Yes, so Coming inside you'll see that it's not an ordinary house, that what, what this house holds is lights representing the known universe, or the cosmos. So all of these lights are constellations of stars from the southern hemisphere. And then within that sits Captain James Cook. The neon lights of different colours are scattered across the shining white walls and windows and reflect off every surface, including a highly polished Captain James Cook sculpture. The piece has been controversial, with some criticising the amount of money spent on a state house look-alike, given the issues around housing affordability and homelessness. Some people who fish from the wharf just a few metres away say the artwork is not welcomed. It's an eyesore, man. People are struggling on the streets and here they are building houses at the inner wharf where no one can live. Like. We've watched it come in, we watch it when we're going to watch them open and it's a waste of time. It's a bit of an eyesore. Yeah, I don't know, it's supposed to be art, but to be honest, why plunk a state house here? But others said it provided a nice contrast to the concrete jungle surrounding it. The chair of the advisory panel for Art and Public Places Auckland, Ross Liu, went through the house this morning and said he was impressed by what he saw. As for the controversy around housing, he said that was likely part of the intended meaning. What is the role of art other than to provoke discussion and lead discussion and ask questions? I think there couldn't be a, a more appropriate symbol, actually, in terms of a comment on the climate and the struggles we have. Kay Glamazina says people will have to see the finished piece before making up their minds. People like to say controversial, but I'm not sure if it really is controversial. I, don't, I never think it's a wise thing to judge any type of work before it's finished. You know, whether it's a rugby game or a piece of art, you don't, you don't make past judgement on the game until the game's finished. So I, I say the same for art. Come and see the work, see what you think of it. It's opening to the public tomorrow night if you want to make up your own mind. For Checkpoint, Tom Furley. If you're wondering where it is, it's where the cloud is, which was that temporary structure, which, of course, is still there, that was part of the Rugby World Cup. So it's beyond... Kelvin just put up a picture, as I was saying that, without any warning. That's pretty impressive, Kelvin. Um, so it's just beyond the cloud, and if you're wondering where the cloud is, if you're not from Auckland, it's essentially at the end of Queen Street, right down in the harbour, right beside where the ferries leave, at the very end of Queen Street.